Hola, mis amigos. Tis I, Ryan's project manager, Circle Back Jack. There was a sale at the Coke Zero store today, so Ryan won't be joining us. Instead, I, project manager extraordinaire, Circle Back Jack, will extrude my knowledge on SQL joins. Hit it! <laughs> this video complements Ryan's video on SQL questions for C Sharp developers, which will be available at the end of this one. So keep this video in the back of your mind in case you're asked about the different kinds of SQL joins during a job interview. Now I know what you are thinking. Circle back Jack, you are so cool. Why would you even need to know SQL? Well, allow me to elucidate. As a project manager, sometimes it's easier for me to get information for myself rather than go ask a nerd. And many times the information I seek is in multiple tables, so I must perform SQL joins. Now before I get started, please don't like or subscribe any of Ryan's content because he's a nerd. And if you are a nerd and want to follow along at home, the SQL code to generate this example is available on GitHub or Ryan's website, along with a picture of me and a smoking hot Delta Zeta. And if you want to follow along and don't have SQL, you can always just go to SQL Fiddle. Just be sure to select Microsoft SQL Server. That way the examples work correctly. So let's say we have a database called Party. And there's two tables in Party. Frat Boys and Beers. So if I do a select from Frat Boys, I get a list of all Frat Boys. Circle back Jack, Chad, Tad, Brad, and Rad. And if I do a select from Beers, I get a beer ID, the frat ID, which corresponds to the frat boy that owns the beer, and the beer name. A few items of note. There are some beers that are not claimed by frat boys yet, so they can be in the drinks table with no owners at all as null. And keep in mind that since one frat boy can have multiple beers, frat boy to beers is a one-to-many relationship. And since here at Beta 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 we pride ourselves on in inclusivity, there may be some members of the frat boys table who don't drink alcohol, so they won't have any beers at all. So let's say we want to list everyone who has a beer along with their beers. That would be an inner join. You can see every frat boy that has a beer is listed along with the beer that they own. And as you can see, since this is a one-to-many table, Circle Back Jack, myself, has two beers. Because I party hard. Now let's say I want to list everybody at the party whether they have a beer or not. But if they have a beer, list the beer. That would be a left outer join. So now let us perform our left outer join. As you can see, we have every party attendee, including the beer that they have. And we have the attendee, Rad, who doesn't drink and doesn't have a beer. But what if we want to find all the people at the party who don't drink beer? Well, we can do that with the WHERE clause and NULL. If I add in WHERE BEER ID is NULL and execute, I'll see that the only person who doesn't drink alcohol shows up. Rad. But now let's say we have to find out all of the beers that are not owned by anyone. That way we can see if we have to do a beer run. Well, that would be a right outer join. Now pay attention because there is a trick to this. If I actually do a right outer join without the WHERE clause, I get both tables joined, which isn't really what we want. So if I do a where frat ID is null, I get another problem. I get an ambiguous column named frat ID. Uh, that's because there's two frat ID columns, one in the frat boy table and the other in the beer table. So I need to specify which column. In this case, I'm going to choose beers. And now I get a list of every single beer that remains. Now I know whether we need to go out in a beer run. Now let us say we need to join all beers and all frat boys, listing beers and their owners where appropriate. That is a full join. Now we have a list of every single frat boy, their appropriate beer, if they have them, and all of the beers. So to recap, an inner join lists all frat boys and their beer. A left outer join lists all frat boys and their beer, whether they have one or not. A left outer join with a where clause lists all frat boys with no beer. A right outer join lists all beers unclaimed by frat boys. And a full join lists all frat boys and all beers. If you remember this order, it may help you if you are ever asked to define joins in a job interview. I hope you have learned something today. Now let's party. Hit it! Hit it!